Hey guys, Sam here. I thought I would just record a quick video about how to set up your Facebook feed on a page on your website. Um, so I'm just going to get straight into it here. You need to be in your WordPress admin uh, dashboard and um, basically what you want to do is install uh, a custom w um, Facebook plugin. There are a number of plugins out there. I like uh, the look of the custom one because it, you can customize the look and feel of it so it just um, it can look a bit different. Um, so what you want to do is go to your plugins. Oh, sorry, add new. and do a quick search for custom Facebook feed, I think it is. Uh, and you can see that there's a few of them there. Uh, one of the things that I like to do is, is sort of have a look and check the ratings on some of them. Um, and look, you could probably choose any one of these. You can also do Instagram f feeds and other sorts of um, social media feeds as well. I'm just going to go with this custom Facebook feed up here. It's got some good ratings uh, and over 100,000 um, installs. So I'm just going to install that onto my site by clicking install here. Now at the moment it's not going to appear on a page anywhere. I actually need to put some code on a page to do that and I'm going to activate the plugin. So now that that's actually um, created, you can see that that's actually uh, installed here and it's active. And what we want to do now is look for the custom Facebook feed um, menu item. Facebook feed and we'll go to settings and what you do here is put the Facebook page ID so I'm actually going to put the get you digital um, Facebook page so I'll just go back to my Facebook and get that um, ID just by going to the page um, I'm sure there's an easier way to do this but I just basically um, copy it from here and um, then pop that link into here um, and we don't need the ref bookmarks um, so there you do that um, if you need help with that you can just click on the what's what's my pa facebook page id and i'll show you how to do that so regarding this enter my own access token, you can do that and it is recommended but there is a token that is included in the plugin and for the moment I don't want to bother um, creating a token. There are some step by step instructions here, I'm just going to um, keep it as it is and I might go back later and follow those instructions and do that. You need a, um, to log in to the developer portal and, and get a token. Um, but uh, I'm just going to try it just without it basically. So basically you want uh, do you want it on a page, a group or a profile? Um, I'm going to actually put it on a page and show posts on my page by um, only the page owner or page owner and other people. So um, I probably want to do both. Um, number of posts to display, I might just leave it at the default there as five. Change the post limit. It basically means the number of posts that are actually retrieved from Facebook and it can slow things down a little bit. And take uh, longer for the for the Facebook component to register, um, or sorry, to render on the page. So uh, I'm just going to leave that um, as it is. Um, check for new post Facebook posts every one hour. Um, you can change that to minutes or days, depending on how much activity you're having on your site. It might depend on how frequently you want to update that. So I'm just going to leave that as one hour. And in terms of localization stuff, you can do you know English UK, English US, whatever. I'm just going to leave it as English US. Um, and the time zone, I am actually going to change that to uh, Sydney, Australia. Funny, they've got Brisbane but not Sydney. Um, and then just save changes. And then in order to actually display the feed, all you need to do is take this code, copy it. I just did Command C, you can go edit, copy. Um, and post it directly onto the page where you'd like the feed to show up. So I'm actually going to go and create a page now 
and um, and put that code on there and I'm just going to put it on as is but you can actually do a whole heap of short code options here that customize the look and feel of the Facebook feed but what you want to do is you need to upgrade to the pro version so it's probably um, there's probably a fee there involved so I don't really care much about that so um, I'm just going to basically go and put this code now onto a page so I'll just go and create a page on my site and I'm just going to add new and I'm going to call it the um, Facebook feed example and all I'm going to do now is just paste that code in the text version here V, control V um, to paste that and I'm not going to put anything else on the page for the moment uh, actually I might just pop a visual thing in here that says um, so we can see where it comes up which is uh, check out our Facebook check out the activity on our Facebook page um, this is just a test page so I'm probably not going to put it anywhere so um, yeah I can just have that and I'm just going to publish that page and now that I have that URL, I'm just going to come on, copy that and go and have a look and see what it looks like. There you go, look at that. Um, so that, that's sort of displaying basically just as the feed comes through um, and it's got um, links there and that sort of stuff and also has um, any of the images or whatever else that pop up on the feed. So that's pretty well how easy it is to get that on your page. Now if that was for example, if I wanted to put it on, um, I don't know, the sponsorship page down the bottom, um, I would basically just insert that code at the bottom of um, the form on this page and then it would appear down there. So obviously you can change the look and feel of that plugin by upgrading to the pro version and I'm sure it's probably fairly straightforward. But um, yeah, for the moment that gives you all of the Facebook feed that's on there. Hope that helped and uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, let me know. Cheers guys.